we are here for our final haul video. We've been back now a few weeks and honestly we haven't put anything away for what we've purchased so we could do this video for you guys. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, so let's get started. We're going to start with stuff that we bought at the character warehouse, which we never got a chance to do a haul video because we were just running, running, running during that whole time as you guys saw. Yeah. Um, so I want to start out with the big one. You guys saw in the character warehouse video already uh, that we did buy it. Yep. And here he is. Here's our BB-8. Yay. Here's our BB. He's not turned on right now, but um, mm. we are going to package him up and we're going to be giving him to our little guy for Christmas. Yep. So we're super stoked about this. Uh, and it was uh, 20, $25 is how much we spent on this guy. Yeah. Uh, funny enough, we just went to the Disney store and found these for $25 also. So yeah. that was kind of like a dang it Yeah, we could have waited. <laughs> yeah, original price was 40 So we did get a good savings on it. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah. Next up is my Jessica shirt. So this one is a, uh, it's a 2X and I got it for $7.99, mm -hmm. um, but I got it because Jessica doesn't get enough love, honestly. Yeah, it's true. Her merchandise is there sometimes, but it's not that much it's of. It's so limited. Yeah, especially when it comes to like um, mugs or shirts, especially pins. Yeah. You don't see that many uh, Jessica Rabbit pins or anything like that. I, I love me some Jessica Rabbit. She's one of the best. I got it. I, I, I did decide to buy it. I got the Great Soda Purse. Mm -hmm. We loved it. It actually helped us move some merchandise back home because I was able to fill it with some stuff. Um, I did get it for $35, but the original price was $75. All right. Next up is this 1971 yellow shirt that just says Walt Disney on the back. It's, it's a men's XL, but I think it's mismarked because it's enormous. So I got it for me or Matt if he wants to wear it because it is a men's shirt. Uh, just because it's bright and it's fun and it's pretty. It's just nice. It, it looks it, good. I think we got it for $7.99. Yeah. The next one up here is actually a Jafar shirt where he's looking into a crystal ball that has no Wi-Fi. <laughs> and uh, this shirt was $7.99. But it was a nice shirt. Like, I wore it the next day when we went to uh, the parks and everything like that. You've probably seen it in videos. But it was a nice shirt. It's very comfortable. Super soft. It's super soft. That's basically what I it really is. I really like me. this one too. So at the character warehouse, they had pins. Now they had the not so scary Halloween set where they're all like jack o' lanterns and it was I, a mystery pin set. Yeah, mystery pin set. But uh, it was still kind of expensive. It was eight ninety nine still, and it was just only a three dollar difference. So we on our way when we're waiting to the checkout line, we came across another pin. Now I don't like really getting these pins because these are like earned pins, what you do, but. I figured as it was a nice trade away, and I never got to trade it away. <laughs> but it is uh, this year's Fall Fest 5K Disney Run. Uh, one, I don't know if you can see it back there, but you have to get real close to yeah. it again. Right there, um, it's blue, and uh, he moves like he's jogging. But yeah, and we got this for four bucks. Nice. And our final thing from the character warehouse, which is my personal, my pride and joy. She loves I almost talked myself out of not buying this because it was $12, but oh. I've since worn it like a bunch of times, which is why it kind of looks dirty because it is. Uh, but I love this shirt. So it is a green ringer within Walt Disney World on the back. Yeah. And I like this design. We actually saw this exact shirt still in the parks for $34.99. Yeah. So I was like, well, uh, that was a pretty good Well, the thing that was steal. different was they didn't have the symbol in front. Yeah, it didn't have the symbol. It, it just had, had the uh, Walt on the back, the so front. it worked out. Yeah, so I, I like these. I like things to be a little bit more simplistic. And she and loves the little it's also band. It's really soft. The little band right here, also really cool. Yeah. So, okay. And that is all from the character warehouse, but we did get other merchandise we want to show you guys. Yes, now this is all Disney World, Disney Spring. Yeah, we'll tell you guys where we got things. Uh, let's start with uh, these puzzles that we found at the World of Disney. So I got this guy. He, we got him at the World of Disney. He is a thousand piece puzzle, and we're super stoked to, to get it started. It was $21.99. I did get it full price, uh, but it is going to be a 27 by 24 inch uh, 
puzzle once it gets finished. So yeah. we're excited about that. We're going to frame that one. Mm -hmm. And also another puzzle that we got is this one. We finally got it. We've been looking at this one for like two years now. And so this will be one side of the puzzle. And then the other side of the puzzle is them as when, when they're young. And we're planning on getting this framed in a, like the two glass sides, yeah, yeah, like a floating uh, yeah. frame. Uh, we're going to do that so that way we can flip it around. Whenever we want. Yeah. We might even con like consider putting this like in a window so we can flip it around, which is mm -hmm. kind of nice. This was also twenty one ninety nine. Yeah. But they were really good. We like doing the Disney puzzles. We have one that we went to last time we did. It was a Christmas That's a season. holiday one, holiday yeah. Holiday one. We talked to said that once we go down there, we're going to get a holiday one. It just never materialized. We got, two, <laughs> we got these two instead. Which are really nice. They're really cool, cool uh, puzzles. I'm going to show you two hats I recently bought when we were down there. Now, one, well, one of them was at the World of Disney. The other one was at in Disney Springs, just outside the boathouse. And it is this wonderful fedora hat. Isn't it great? Yes. I like it because the bridge is more open down like this, but uh, yeah, this was a total of 30 bucks, but really good, really nice. It has more, he has a hat very similar to yeah. this, but it's it's white it's, yeah, instead blue. of like this camel white colored. White with the, the black stripe, but the only problem is it's more... It, it's a little bit, it's not as structured this one. This one has like a little bit of like bounce back it's really nicely yeah. structured it's also lined on the inside yeah which is nice too so. the other one that he got is like kind of plasticky and falling apart already after yeah. like a year so <laughs> we took it through some trials for our disney and disney it was the one we wore on the cruise <laughs> yeah. i'll link our video down below for the cruise yeah. if you guys want to see it but no nah, this is a really nice hat uh, we were trying out multiple hats as you saw in the video Everyone was wanting to get what they want. Oh, I those sparkly up. biker hats. Yeah, but I went, with, I went with this, and this has been a good choice, especially now. I mean, I'm out of the weather now for it, but at least when it comes time for spring and summer, bam. Yes, you look really nice, yeah. there, baby. <laughs> Leave right there. Yeah. Okay. And the other one I got right here is Mickey's Christmas hat. So we got this at the World of Disney, and it's just, it's a pajama Santa hat with Mickey ears on it. Which will, uh, which actually matched my uh, outfit for when we went to uh, Mickey's Maritime Christmas Party. We'll link that down below as well for you, or, so you guys to see the Christmas party you if you might haven't see already. Picture. Who knows? Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, that's what we got right here, and uh, yeah, I, this... Uh, a lot. She thought I was getting really hot in it. I never took this hat off the minute we got in there. You know, that's kind of funny because I didn't, now when I think about being at the party, I didn't actually remember you ever wearing the hat yeah. because it just like became a part of you. Yeah. Like I, I didn't even notice you were wearing it. And the beautiful <laughs> thing about this is that it's only one side, but it's Velcro in there. And so if you need to make it bigger or tighter, all you do is adjust it because it, it, it's there for it. Oh, so that's nice. I didn't know that's that. That's what I loved about this hat. Now this hat itself was 20... Four ninety nine, I believe. Mm -hmm. I want to say I could be wrong, but you it's know. there. It was cheaper than the regular ears, which are now twenty nine yeah. ninety nine. So yeah. yeah. But yeah. it was uh, it that was just brand spanking new this yeah. year. Uh, next up, we have what I got in Epcot. You guys saw this in the video. If you haven't, I'll link it down below. But we did stop in at Epcot for the Food and Wine Festival, and they had a bunch of Remy stuff. And this one I love so much because it's got. The spoon, the spoon handle at the end, I love it. And then Remy, oh, it's my fave. It's so tiny too. Uh, I've got this thing about cups being a little bit on the smaller side now because I just can't drink coffee or tea fast enough. And I hate my stuff getting cold. Um, directly after that, we got this at the World of Disney, which is, it's kind of like an Are you, you Are Here mug from Starbucks. It's in that like style but it's just for Walt Disney World and it's all the parks. It's a really cool mug. I it's, really like that. I've drank out of it twice since we got back home when I can get a hold of it. Yeah, mugs, <laughs> mugs here get used. Yeah. So if, if ever you're like, oh my God, she's already got 24 mugs and she just bought yeah. six more. Well, it's cause they, we do go through them constantly. Yeah, I'm a coffee drinker now. Yeah, he used to not be. To go on the on the coffee mug realm here, I did just buy these like two days ago uh, at, and we're in uh, December now, but uh, I did just buy these like two days ago at the Disney store. They just came out. They didn't even have these at the Disney parks. 
but they are some of the like kid series, which I think they're calling these the animators series. Animator series. And this one's Maleficent. And on the inside it says scaring up another spell with a kind of almost like a, a dragony side here, which I thought was super cute. But this is the one that really made me buy. It's baby Ursula. And on the other side it said me, scary. And then right here, it's really hard to see, even when you're holding it, is a little, um, conch shell. it's like a little conch shell, like her, her necklace, which yeah. I actually touch my necklace because it is made out of conch shell. But yeah, it's, it's so cute. And I love this shape. Look at this shape. Like, I just want to put my hands around it I, all the time. I love it so much. I'm so happy. Matt was like, you were like, you shouldn't buy that. No, I was like... No, uh, she was it. trying to convince me not to let her buy it. Yeah. She's like, I don't know, like, one... Last time we waited on an Ursula mug, they're like, oh, it'll be out. We'll wait till it go on clearance. The minute it went on clearance, they sold out. And yeah. I, we, we, we tried every... Well, we went to a bunch of Disney uh, stores around us and out in the suburbs, and we couldn't find it. So, like, I told her, get it now. And, um... Yeah. So, that we have it. So, yeah, we went out and bought more stuff. <laughs> They weren't specifically Disney World, but mm -hmm. Disney Store in general, and she got those, so that's why we're showing them also. Yay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, so next, next up is my final big thing that I got while we were at Disney World, because mm -hmm. um, after this, it's, it's 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 your show, baby. After this, uh, <laughs> this one was kind of a big deal because it was it's been on my want list for a while, but one I didn't know if I would look good in it, and two, it's really expensive, so. I was lucky enough to, to meet someone that, that convinced me to purchase it. And it is the Epcot dress. I got the Epcot dress! Ah! Now, when she was talking to this person that uh, helped us out get this dress, oh, she, 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 she was very iffy about getting it. I told her, well, I was actually trying to get this dress before we went down to our trip because her birthday was that weekend. Yeah. And that was going to be my thing. I buy the dress, I get presented to her. I'm like, hey, you can wear it when we go to Epcot at the Food and Wine Festival. But it never happened. I kept getting outbidded and they didn't, they, the store would run out of her size. He also, he also knows that um, if he had purchased it at full price, it would have been not super happy. No, Are you no, spending all that money? No, no, no. That's I don't I'm like here. people spending a ton of money on Let it go when Poshmark were my selections. <laughs> right. And eBay. Um, so, like... With discounts. I could, I could, like I said, I could have bought it at the Disney store, mm -hmm. but it, it, we're about trying to get the deal. So, what happened was, I went ahead and purchased it. We ended up getting for, was it, seventy nine ninety nine? dollars $82. $82 into a tax. And I said, well, I'll buy it. It was supposed to be your birthday gift. I'll get it to you. And so, I got it to her, thinking, I'm like, yeah. I went ahead and got her something that she really wanted. She was really happy about it. Sure enough, in less than 24 hours later, something happened, and we'll be going through that when she got me, because that woman destroyed me. You'll see it in the video below. Yes, <laughs> yes. About it. Um, and so that was the that was my entire haul. Okay, so what we're gonna go through now is what I bought for pins and a special item that my wife got me for my birthday, early birthday gift. So, but first we're gonna go and got. <gasps> the thermal detonator coca-cola now this was five bucks that the tax is like five something um it all it is is just a coca-cola bottle we found something interesting though with it we did not know this but the reason why they're not normally done up with the circular anything for a regular coke bottle is because when it's circular like that more the air. carbonation goes out way faster yeah at least we found with these, they went flat like within minutes yeah. of opening. Like when, it was I, when very I got strange. about right here, when we had this much coke left, you can tell that you, it was different. It, no, it was about halfway. Yeah, halfway, even. and it was uh, you can tell the difference. But yeah, you can take these back on uh, through TSA security now because they lifted that ban. Uh, yeah. It was right before we came down and we found out about it. So I got me one. I figure next time we go down to Disney World, I'm uh, probably gonna get the Sprite one, just so I can have both of them. But I have a thermal detonator now, so <laughs> don't mess with it. <laughs> but yeah, that's right here. You're so silly. Um, let's see. These are all my pins I've traded at. A little bit lower. Lower? There you go. Up at a, a bit. at go. the parks. I traded away with people and characters and all that stuff. I will talk about this pin specifically down here in a bit. Uh, but yeah, so I got some nice hidden Mickey, some Star Wars one. If you notice, I have kind of a, a set. I also got the... Uh, Chaser for Baymax 
And then uh, we go over here. I have all this past Epcot pin mystery pin set right here. I actually got this all at Hollywood Studios. And uh, yeah, and then uh, as same as a couple of the Stitch ones, a couple of ones I wanted to get. And then uh, yeah, more of the Epcot set. You already know about that one from Character Warehouse. And there's some standard stuff. But those are basically all the pins I traded for. So first things first, we're gonna go through pins. I purchased all the Christmas ones. So here is uh, Wreck-It Ralph with Penelope and her Christmas themed uh, car that they're, uh, she's on. So that one's there, that one's right there. Santa Stitch right there. I'm helping him from behind the camera. Yeah, the one that my friend went crazy for, the Christmas pour. It's so cute. Now I got two holiday pins from Mickey's Merry Kind Christmas Party. So we're gonna do the standard one that we got when we walked into the park. This was the also the other one, this is the limited edition. I almost got myself another one, but I decided not to. So these are the ones I added to my collection from the Merry Christmas Party. And then these are the ones I bought when we were at Galaxy's Edge. Now the first one, it was a recent uh, this recently came out in November. It's a true Jedi pin. This one came out two days before we yeah. got there. Jedi pin. Here are the open edition Batu because you got to get the Millennium Falcon. That one's real cool. Yeah. But this one, this one was unique in every in a special way because it's a limited, re uh, limited release. Re release, but it is an outline of BB-8 with a skyline and a little Millennium Falcon in the top right there. Those were the pins I bought. I had somewhat self-control. <laughs> yes. This is my lightsaber. This is what my wife got me as we were walking into the park. She told me, she literally stopped me 20 feet from the Millennium Falcon ride. You'll see that video down there. I'll link it below. Yeah, but. Now. If you notice in the video that we had just previously been part of, uh, you'll notice that it was blue yes. that he chose. Now, and now it's green. Green. The reason why that, I bought me some crystals. So we're going to show you that later. Now this total price was $200 after taxes, $213.86. It is a wonderful experience. It's heavy too. Mm -hmm. So here it is in total. Ooh. It is really heavy. And these pieces, they're all, they're not plastic. Like this is like a little bit more leathery, but they're all metal pieces, which yeah. is real nice. So the best thing about getting that with that, with the lightsaber, you get a unique pin for the selection you pick. Now, since I went with nature. What was nature elemental? Yeah. That's the pin you get. Power. Uh, Guardian, Justice, they all come with their own select pin, so it makes you want to go back and get the other ones. Mm -hmm. It's which a $200 pin right there. Which will probably happen in the near future. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. So, next thing you know, we're going to go through our Kyber Crystal. I bought that now. As you see, it's green. You can see it, yeah. Yeah, but uh, as you see, it, the green one's in there. So, oh, my bad. I mix these up, so... <laughs> here is my white kyber crystal. Here's here's the white kyber. Yeah. So I've not just, I've not put that inside my blade yet. Up. And then here is the crystal I got when I was making my lightsaber. That's the blue the original. Yeah. The original blue kyber crystal. He originally talked himself out of buying this, and he was like, "No, I, I shouldn't. I really shouldn't." And it was it was me kind of going, "When's the next time we're going to be down here? Just just do it." So what I is present it? you the Jedi Holocron. Now, the best thing about these Holocrons, they're not battery operated. They're USB port charge. So whenever they are dying, all you do is you plug them in and they're good to go. But this is the best thing. Now, originally, you can put a, a cube in there, but you do this. This is Master Obi-Wan Kenobi. I regret to report that both our Jedi Order and the Republic have fallen, with the dark shadow of the Empire rising to take their place. 
This message is a warning and a reminder for any surviving Jedi. Trust in the Force. Do not return to the temple. That time has passed. And our future is uncertain. So that's what the Holocron... The Holocrons also will come up to up to six... Between... Oh, sorry. Five and eight messages, mm. depending on what kyber crystal is inside of them. That message comes up when there's no kyber crystal inside of them. So it is the warning that Obi-Wan Kenobi gave after the purge. Now I'm going to do a quick thing real fast. Question. And what it is with a QI. We can go through all the crystals, but I'm not going to do that. But here's a quick little example. So this is the blue kyber crystal. A young Jedi named Darth Vader, who was a pupil of mine until he turned to evil, helped the Empire hunt down and destroy the Jedi Knights. Now the Jedi are all but extinct. Vader was seduced by the dark side of the Force. I can press this the entire time we go through every list, but we're not going to do that. Because we, you know, if you do get it, it... For you to experience mm -hmm. and have wonder with, but it's really cool. Like I, all I did was I played for this for an hour to a point where it annoyed her. <laughs> you didn't annoy me. I was interested. Yeah. Uh, one cool thing about it, though, um, is one thing to note that some other people, I guess, didn't know. The kyber crystal that goes in here can also go into the lightsaber and so, change the lightsaber color. So that's why you see uh, the green. Now, each kyber crystal, though, is fourteen ninety nine. So. It's not too bad. It's up to, it's not that bad. I've already I already got some coming in the mail. Um, but uh, <laughs> uh, thank you, Callie. Uh, <laughs> but besides that, that's about it. That's our haul in general. So, yeah. This this is this is the damage we did at Disney. Um, and boy, did we damage ourselves. But uh, thank you so much for watching our haul video. This is the first time we've ever done a haul video. Mm -hmm. Tell us what you liked or didn't like. Yeah. Tell us what you wish you had or wish we had bought or didn't buy or yeah. whatever. Um, but go ahead and leave a comment down below. We love hearing from you guys. We, yep. And of course, like and subscribe if you haven't already. And those of you who have, we love you. Uh, and always, we'll see you guys on our, our next, next adventure. adventure. Bye. Bye.